Hello, and welcome to our first half of 2022 review, focusing on the James Webb Space Telescope's first large release. It's been a long wait, but I think you'll find it worth the wait. In an early test, the release included some stars in the Large Magellanic Cloud. So we'll take a look at that. And also, whenever I have a Hubble image of the same thing that James Webb photographed, I'll bring in the Hubble image and we can see the change. We had the, one of those for the Large Magellanic Cloud and several of the other objects. Next, we'll cover the cosmic cliffs in the Carina Nebula, followed by the beautiful Southern Ring Planetary Nebula. Then we'll, we'll get a focus on three different galaxies, a classic spiral galaxy, a barred spiral galaxy, where we'll look deeper into the bar, what is going on there, and a ring galaxy, the cartwheel ring galaxy. Then we'll take a deep look into one of the galaxies in the Stephens Quintet. We'll actually look at and examine the black hole and the material around the black hole and the material flowing away from the black hole to the point where Webb can actually determine what that material is made of. Then we'll do a deep dive into Webb's first deep field image of thousands upon thousands of galaxies. We'll look at warped galaxies and determine whether they're the same. We'll dive into some of the oldest galaxies that have ever been photographed, galaxies that Hubble couldn't see. One is 13.1 billion light years away. And we'll find out what that is made of. So we'll get started with the Large Magellanic Cloud. I trust you'll find it interesting and informative. Thanks for watching.